today in front of all these people who love and support us, I choose you to be my husband. Nick, I love you more every day. I love you unconditionally and as you are. I promise to support you, to push you, to inspire you, and above all, love you. For better or for worse, for as long as we both shall live. I promise to learn with you and grow with you. I promise to laugh with you in good times and struggle alongside with you in bad times. Most importantly, I promise to respect you and cherish you as an individual, a partner, and an equal, knowing that we do not compete but complement with each other. I hope we have many adventures and grow old together. Winona, I'm so happy to be here with you today. There are two stories about us I'd like to tell now, and I don't think anyone here has heard them. The first one happened almost exactly a year ago today. We had just gotten back from this exact place, having put down our deposit to make today possible. The ring had been ordered two months prior prior and was due to arrive in a week. However, just before we went to pay, I got an email saying that it was going to be two weeks delayed. And, well, I couldn't wait anymore. So we had just gotten back and I decided to pop the question with the ring that you just normally wear. And do you remember what your response was? It was, no, 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 not with that. <laughs> But it's a happy story because we decided it's a secret yes. The next one goes back to when I was in Santa Cruz and we were long distance. We had been officially dating for about six months. And you'll remember that in those early stages, I had a weird stigma around the word love. It's just not a word I felt should be thrown around early in a relationship. It's a word I wanted to have significant meaning. And on this particular night, I felt like it was time to use the L word. After you dropped off Katie and drove to my side of campus, right after you park, I get out of the car and give you a kiss and say it. Do you remember what you said? It was, I really gotta pee. <laughs> <laughs> now I told both of these stories for a very specific reason. Those were arguably two very big moments in our relationship when I asked you to marry me when I first said I love you, and things didn't go as planned. But being here now and knowing that everything else has worked out as amazingly as it has, I wouldn't change a second of either of those experiences. They're not just funny stories to tell at a wedding, they're proof of how perfect we are for each other. What's out of context, the absolute worst possible scenario playing out is actually a great scenario because we aren't storybook romance kind of couple and we want to laugh together just as much as we want to be sappy and lovey-dovey. We are perfect together and I vow to continue loving you every day just as much as I do now. You're an amazing person. I'm so happy I get to spend the rest of my life with you. Thanks. Can I kiss the bride? <laughs>